Hi, ladies and gentlemen. I'm not going to get into great detail because it's very simple to get underneath your car and find the four or five screws to take everything off and the three bolts to take out. What I've done is I replaced mine with a different type of uh, bolt system. I put 10 millimeters on there and they work nicely to me. And these are the old uh, snap ones that they're clip. So when you get underneath there, you take your pan off. Look how nice and clean this pan is. There's no oil underneath or the other side. So get underneath there and make sure you don't have any drips located where your transmission is at and your oil area is at. So let's get right to it, to the oil chain. All right, this is a bad sign. You don't want to see that in your car. What I've done, I basically loosened it up. It's a 17 millimeter bolt. And right over here is your oil filter. And I use a genuine Honda wrench, a uh, socket wrench. And I'm gonna show you what it looks like in a second. This is the Honda genuine wrench. It fits right over there, nice and solid. It's a lot stronger than these uh, other ones. This is a deep socket. Uh, you can hear it slipping, so it's not the right size. It may be like a D, E, F, or whatever. And this is another one uh, that will go on. And I'm going to just simply try to use this one right now. Uh, there are two ways to go about changing your oil. You could do the filter first or the oil first. That's all up to you. I'm not going to uh, tell you which is the right or wrong way. But this is the wrench. And you can see how cheaply it is. It just constantly slips off. So scratch that one, just get the genuine Honda one on there, put it on there, and simply tighten. Yeah, I could slip and this and that, but right now you can see I'm having difficulties, lefty loosey, righty tighty. And now I'm going to have some difficulties getting this off, it ain't going to come off. So how can I get this off now? Oh man, I'm going to have to go get myself a, a giant... Uh, uh, channels locks and do that. I'm not sure why it just doesn't come off So let me just make sure this is tapped on Maybe the car cooled off maybe I didn't put oil on it But it's a good Lesson to be learned I got troubles I don't got all the tools, but this is just a little too small for me to grab it so let me just get the bigger one out and see what I can do just one more uh, squeeze on it If you missed what I've done, I grabbed the uh, large channel locks and I just simply uh, loosened it. Things do happen and you just can't get upset about it. Slowly get it off. Don't worry about getting oils on your hand. Wear some gloves, wear some latex gloves. You're good to go. And I got both of them on, latex and a pair of gloves. These can now be car gloves. A few more twists and turn and we'll drop this down. Now this is a Honda filter even though it says Honda on it be very careful because there are imitations out there and other manufacturers that make these filters. So what I have to do now is get some oil on here. So do I take the old one? Yeah, I take the old one. And I get a little oil on it. Now I take a rig and I can get in here and I can start to clean it. So there's no oil drips. And I take the new one. I fail for it because this is in my way.
she's on. Twist her up there. Get your wrench. Righty tighty. In the back over here, we're gonna do the same thing. This is already loose. Simply gonna take it out, and there's my crush washer. That's the time you want to replace it. One of the questions is, it don't smell like gas. All up to you to wait to the last drop. Put it back on. Don't cross thread it. Clean it up. Seventeen millimeter back on it. Thirty pound torque, uh, maybe eighteen. I'm not sure. Don't put your plate on now. Put it on later. What if there was a drip, or what if oil spilt on it? You name it. So what I am going to do is going to fill up and put my plate on at my convenience. So you're going to match it up. There are uh, areas that you could catch just on one side but not the other. And you got these bolts here that like I said they do fit in. And I'm going to go upstairs and fill it in just in case I need to take this all off. This is what I use. This is leftover. 1.3 quarts I need to pour out. I'm good. Pack this one back up. Find out where your oil goes. You can have this off before you did everything. Start to pour your oil in. Take your time, don't rush. Good to the last drop or whenever you decide you want to get rid of it. Put the cap in. Take your dipstick, clean it. And go start your car. Because my car is on an angle and up in the air, blah, 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 and the stick is in, I'm going to go check my oil. I'm going to clean it. I'm not going to bother to look at the first one. I'm going to simply look at the second one. It's not very easy to see. It's not going to be very easy to see on the camera, but here we go. Where can my oil level be? A lot of people say. And it's right about there very clean indeed and that is good I'm good to go next step is the rear differential oil change you do that on another one and so now I got to go down put everything back together double check my oil just to make sure everything is good and everything's all into spec I have not to forget to uh, do the front two uh, tires the lugs make sure they're tight with the uh, rotation and off we go 
clean up and have a great day and see you on the next video. Enjoy, that's how simple it is to do a oil change.